Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and in this video we're going to be going over the daily cryptocurrency news and updates for the market today as we usually do every single day. So uh, just some quick things before we start guys, if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, we do have one-on-one -on -one coaching available to help you guys come up with a uh, specified uh, trading strategy for your specific situation um, and really go into detail on how exactly you guys can be profitable in any single market uh, for cryptocurrency. So definitely check out those one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. But getting into the video, guys, uh, it's quite a red day. Unfortunately, Bitcoin tanked quite a lot, down about 8 eight almost 9% on the last 24 hours. Ethereum down 11.9%. Um, Bitcoin Cash down 13.5%. EOS down 16.9%, Litecoin 12. Um, so across the board, there is a quite a lot of red. Um, only about three coins, really just one coin that's up. Uh, Game.com coin looks like to be the only one. But besides that, Cyber Miles down 22%, IOST down 20%. Um, seeing seeing a lot of good, pretty large losses across the board. So. Unfortunately, that's where we're at right now, but uh, let's jump into some technical analysis to see where exactly we're going with this market. So as you can see, guys, um, we're not down too far yet. We're still holding a support that you know we do have right around this. If you see this wick back, back here, um, back in February when we dropped down all the way to this level, um, we do still have a, a wick line, a support that we could be bouncing off right around uh, 6,000. So if we can stay about above that number, which I believe hopefully we can, um, then I, I do believe we'll be in a good spot. Unfortunately, we're not even oversold on the one day chart yet. So if we do go down a little bit more and trigger that oversold uh, line, then I would expect to move down to possibly you know 5500 uh, unfortunately so that would be really the next support below this one right here let me just outline that for you guys see so make sure you can see that uh, that green line right there that support level so we're very close to it that supports around 58 uh, 59 almost 6000 right now we're at 6145 so um, it's hard to tell if we're going to drop below 6000 just yet um, is considering we were oversold at about 6,200 um, a week ago, and now we are, you know, below that level, and we're still not oversold, and there's a lot of selling action coming in. I do believe we could we can move to the downside and continue to fall, unfortunately. So um, next supports that I will be looking for, like I said, um, right around, you know, 50, 54, 5,500. If you just move that up a little bit. Um, right around 5500 and then you know if we drop below that guys uh, look for this old resistance here right around 49 um, and continue to move down and plot the different support and resistance levels that we have seen and hopefully you know we don't get to any of these levels but um, there's really no telling what the market will do so unfortunately guys this is the situation we're in but there is some light at the end of the tunnel so here's the thing I don't know if we're really going to break all the way down to these super low levels. I believe that we've seen the bulk of the downtrend, and at this point, we're just waiting uh, for some type of catalyst, some type of movement that will bring this market back up to a spot where we'll be more comfortable and uh, where the the market is more comfortable for more investors, new investors to come in with new money. So. At this time, the market's you know looking attractive, obviously, to smart investors who buy low, um, but it continues to scare people off as we continue to have these days where there's a, just a huge drop in price. Um, you know, if you zoom in here, as you can see, just a few weeks ago there was you know price dropped from 7,500 all the way down to about 6,500, and then almost a day later up from 6,900 uh, down to about 6,100 in two days. And now today we've dropped from about 6,800 all the way down to 6,100. So if we zoom in here, we can obviously see that uh, we hit off the res the resistance around 6,800, um, broke above it a little bit, but uh, for the most part we could not break above that resistance around 6,800. Started to see some growth, but then you know hit off that resistance and it was not a successful push above that resistance line. So it does appear that we are dropping back down at least to this support that we've seen 
um, just a few days, uh, about five or seven, five to seven days ago, we saw the support here. So if we don't stay at that support, the next lowest support would be about 5,800, uh, 5,800 to 6,000 that we'll look to find Bitcoin's low at. So hopefully, guys, I really hope so. Um, if we join, jump in here, I'm looking to really stay above the the points that we've been at um right around here we've already been at this level about a week ago around that 6100 level so hopefully we see some buy action come in today and we can start to recover uh this price and move back up as you can see we're quite oversold on the four hour chart we just looked at the one day chart we're not oversold yet um, which worries me, but uh, we'll just have to see. So jumping into some of the new stories for today, guys, um, Bitcoin and altcoins failed again, tumble sharply. So just is just going to recap some of the um, things we just talked about. So Bitcoin price failed to break USD 6800, resulting in a bearish breakdown. Almost all major altcoins tumbled and broke key supports. Uh, C E N N Z and G T C outperformed and moved up by more than forty uh, percent, and that was I think Game.com's coin G T C. Uh, yesterday we discussed that Bitcoin price must break above uh, six thousand eight hundred resistance, and if it falls, there is a risk of a bearish reaction. Uh, Bitcoin USD struggled to clear that stated resistance, declined sharply, and broke important supports such as six thousand seven and six thousand six hundred. Similarly, Ethereum, Ripple, and Bitcoin Cash declined heavily and moved into a bearish zone. Overall, it seems like buyers struggle to hold gains in Bitcoin and altcoin, altcoins suggesting more weakness uh, in the near term. According to Bloomberg, Bitcoin is on its strongest negative trend since the sell-off earlier this year, and charts are signal signaling more losses. Going forward, if Bitcoin price fails to recover and drops below 6200 it could decline to new 2018 lows. Bitcoin price faced an increasing an increased selling interest after it failed to surpass a major resistance at 6800 and declined and tested the USD uh, 6500 support zone down more than 3.5%. If it continues to move down, it could even break the 6400 support and test 6200. On the upside, resistances are seen at 66 and 67. So we've already broken 62. You know we're at 6155. However, we are seeing some type of a resistance right around that level, right around that 6100 level. So if we can at least keep above that, which we've seen a resistance uh, about a week ago, then I think we're in a good spot. We're mostly just trading in this little channel right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually outline that because I do think it's important. If we can at least stay in this channel, I think we'll be in a better spot than most people anticipate. So this little channel right here, hopefully we can stay within that um it's hard to tell obviously but i am just really not too certain if the market in general and investors in general will let this price get much lower i think 6000 5000 levels are really the lowest levels that we should be seeing but um you know that goes without saying that anything could happen in this market and no one really knows for sure um bitcoin and satoshi the mystery twitter is obsessing over real business test of the uh tech behind crypto kitties basically guys here's the thing so i'm not really seeing a ton of news of why we broke down uh, there was some news um uh, regarding that i think they sent s six exchanges basically a letter to say that their security was not as good um, i think that's on coin telegraph let me see uh chinese government all right right here so japan hits six more crypto exchanges with business improvement orders so this is a possible um, reason of why it's falling so sharply as well as hacked to south korea ex korean exchange uh, bithum confirms it will reimburse affected users the bithum hack obviously um was a big thing but uh, this right here the the japanese basically hitting six crypto exchanges with business improvement orders I'm not sure if that's enough bad news to really break the price down to the point where we lost about $800, $700 in overnight. Um, but I do think that it's it's really because we couldn't break above that 6800 level. Um, I think traders and investors were looking to break above that, look for some type of bear run or bull run. And since we failed to break above that, we continued to drop back down and had quite a steady drop all the way down to 6100 where uh, traders and investors could pick up coins a little bit cheaper 
hoping to have the momentum next time to break above that 6800 level. So hopefully we stay in this channel, guys. That's what I'm you know expecting to happen. I don't believe that we're going to drop much lower. I think we've seen the bulk of the the falling, uh, especially since normally during the day. Um, you know, United States uh, investors will get online and begin to trade a lot more volume coming in during the day. So hopefully we see a price increase throughout the day. Uh, we'll really just have to play by ear and see what happens. But uh, Japan financial regulator, uh, the financial services agency has sent business improvement orders to six cryptocurrency exchanges. Cointelegraph Japan reports June 22nd. So um, the exchanges looks like our Bitflyer, uh, Qoin. Bitcoin Box, BitBank, Tech Bureau, and Bitpoint. So this is the thing. I don't even know any of these exchanges. I've heard of, I think, Bitflyer and Qoin, but I think that's really all. Um, and I'm not sure why a business, you know, six business improvement orders would really be, you know, to small exchanges. These these exchanges are not, you know, Bittrex, Binance, and Bitmax. Uh, these are small exchanges. So not. I don't think that this could have been the reason why we drop to these levels um, my real thoughts are that uh, that that resistance around 6800 there's just not enough volume and buying power uh, to break through those levels I think the large fundamentals in the market uh, we still need a catalyst to really turn us around at this point um, I don't think we're just going to turn around without one so again that relates to something like regulation a bitcoin etf you know we've talked about this time and time again i think we need to see something special to really turn this market around but no doubt in my mind that we will see a turnaround uh, at some point in 2018 so hopefully within this next week or so uh we kind of talked about this guys if you can see right here um this last little area where there was a not a bull run, but um, a period where we just kind of moved sideways. That lasted about 12 days, and it's now about, it's been about 11 days. So hopefully within the next few days, we break out of this current channel that we're in. Um, although we've seen a large drop in price, we've already been at this price about a week ago. So we're still technically in the channel, uh, trading within that channel. Uh, it just depends to see if we drop below that, go to 5,800, and then drop further. Or if we push back up and surpass 6,800 and continue upwards. So we'll have to see what happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Not a ton of news. Um, mostly just speaking about the the drops in price. And the market's really not doing too well overall. So um, yeah, guys, we'll just have to see what happens. The market capitalization also not really finding a support here, as you can see. So We'll just have to see what happens. Uh, 63.86 as of press time, down 7.2% over the 24-hour period. Leading cryptocurrency has now reversed a flash three-day rally, which saw its price recover to as high as 6.792. So um, Ethereum as well has been hit with an even harder loss. So as you can see, guys, the value. You know, we're seeing some support. Um, you know, throughout June that we can you know retrace back to we've seen these prices a few weeks ago we just really don't want to see it drop too much lower um i, I will be a little weary to see the price get down to six thousand and fifty eight hundred i think we're at a bad spot at that point so definitely let me know what you guys are thinking uh let me know where you see us going in the next few months i've already done a prediction of my price prediction for bitcoin's price action for the next two years so definitely check out that video um, I talk a lot about uh, past price history, past bull runs, and why I think um, what I think. So definitely check that video out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and aren't already, make sure to subscribe and also leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.